Well, folks, I've shown you just about all I can as far as shot making and positioning the cue ball and the like. So hopefully at this point you would have enough knowledge to go on and become pretty good pool players. But there is something that I would like to discuss before we uh, wrap this up, and that is the subject of etiquette. I, I know you want to have fun at this game, and wolfing at your opponent as long as they're a good friend or a family member or, or things like that, that's all well and good and it's part of having fun, but if your intention is to go out and enter competitions like league play or tournament play or the like, you're going to be expected to conduct yourself in a more uh, proper manner, let's say. And there are some things, some, some kind of bad habits that some players get into, and a lot of time they, they don't even realize that they're doing them, but if they continue to do them, it's going to be a distraction to their opponent, which is also going to lead to confrontations, which are uh, against the rules, and you just want to stay away from them. So I'll mention a couple of those real quick. One of them would be, is don't stand in front of the line uh, of aim for your opponent. So if they're shooting a pocket towards or a ball towards this pocket, so to speak, don't come over here and stand in front of the pocket like that. It's obvious that you're trying to distract them. That's one thing you don't want to do. Another thing that commonly happens is that say you just missed a shot and now it's your opponent's turn to shoot. Your opponent gets up there, he goes to reach for the chalk to chalk his cue up, but before he can get to it, you grab the chalk and you start cueing your chalk. What's the purpose in that if it's not meant to distract and upset your opponent? That's just bad etiquette. So you need to learn some good etiquette rules and stick to them and you'll both have a much better time from there.